Hi. Some months back, a social media influencer with a lot of followers on Twitter and maybe not as many on Instagram. I'm not really sure on Facebook. Um, but she's got tons, over 100,000 people who are following her on Twitter. She wrote a very interesting thing. In essence, she talked about getting married up front, and then she mentioned how she was at a crossroads almost immediately, within a month, and she said a lot of horrible things about the man she married. Actually, she stated a whole lot of nasty things he said to her, and how distressed she was, and she was going through health issues at the same time, and she didn't know what to do, and she felt that she'd been betrayed, and made to look horrible and it was just it was heartbreaking to read and I've been connected to her for a couple of years and I didn't know what to say so I stayed out of it but a lot of other people said things to her you know you don't need him or we're sorry this is going on and everything and now <laughs> she's back with him she never mentioned getting back with him just one day there's pictures of them and they were getting a second marriage the first one was a real marriage, but they just they get married, I guess, in one place, and then they decided to go to a different place to do a second wedding so that the other side of the family could see it. Don't ask. I don't know. And ever since then, I've been really uncomfortable because part of me really wants to ask, okay, what happened? Another part of me was already uncomfortable for not knowing what to say the first time, and now it's totally changed at least visibly, and it's just so confusing. I don't know if she wrote about it on Facebook, but I sat there thinking, wow, you put that out there, and then in a weird way it was rescinded, and it was horrific stuff, and I can't be the only one who was uncomfortable. And I've noticed on the place where she initially had written all this stuff, she still has a lot of people who are following her, but most of them haven't really said much on the pictures that she's sharing anymore. And it's just weird. And, you know, I wanted to talk about this because I've talked before about how we need to protect the privacy of our family members, especially if they're not on social media. you got to protect your kids. But sometimes you have to really be a little guarded on what you're saying about your own situation when you're in the middle of it. So I have another friend who, well, she was going through a divorce. It was quick, as a matter of fact. Um, <laughs> one day he was there, the next day he was gone. He got, you know, as a matter of fact, he wanted out of it so bad, he actually got sick and ended up in the hospital. That's how bad he actually wanted out of it. Now, I don't know all the real details. Okay, I know more than I'm going to tell because this isn't my story. Still, she was saying a lot of things in the open. So I wrote her a private message. I said, are you really safe in saying all these things? You know, what do you think about this? And she said, well, I've blocked him, so I should be okay. And I wrote back and said, yeah, but doesn't he know some other people who might be connected to you on there? And she said, well, I trust all the people who I'm now connected to. I did get rid of a few other people, but in general, I trust everyone I'm connected to. And I wondered about that because, man, that's dicey. That's really dicey. You know, once I sent a message just to a few people who I specifically wanted to see, you know, wanted to know what was going on in my life, and I only left it up there, I think, 12 hours, and I even said, if you miss it, you miss it. And I had, you know, enough people who did see it, and that was, now I didn't have to say it again, but like I said, it was directed only at a specific group, not everybody I was connected to, and I immediately got rid of it after 12 hours. And I didn't say anything bad about, you know, the situation. I just told what the situation was because I didn't want anyone to judge anything. I just wanted them to have information. A few people had noticed that I was saying things a little bit differently. And so I decided, you know what, let me just put it out there, get it done. And it's over. And like I said, it was very short, no pictures. I didn't, you know, I tagged the people who I wanted to see it, and then it was gone. And I didn't have any qualms about it, because, you know, the person who I was talking about isn't on social media, and the folks 
they all knew who the person was, but really didn't know who the person was, if that makes any sense. And if it doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, I put this out there because sometimes when we get emotional about something in our personal life or in our work life and whatever, we put things out there or you might put things out there and you might have to back off on some of that later on. And you might not, but still you might. And you really need to be cautious. You know, really, that's my thing. One of the things on Twitter is that I see things that make me really angry and I want to say stuff, but I don't because I don't want to deal with those people. I'd rather just block people and move on because I don't need their drama in my life <laughs> and their hatred. I mean, I really don't need any of that. But when it gets to something personal, unless you're writing to people who are really your friends, which is what I did, but unless you're writing to people who are really your friends, you need to kind of think about it before you put something out there because you never know how it could hurt you, if it can hurt you, or if it's going to make other people uncomfortable. That's it. You know, this is just proof that not every video I'm going to do these 30 days is going to be long. <laughs> this is the shortest one right now. Anyway, my name is Mitch Mitchell. I'm going to say it. Like if you like it. Comment on it. Subscribe. If you hate it, you know what? Give me a thumbs down. But tell me why you give me a thumbs down. I'll see you all later.